Hi friends and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to work with calculated fields in Dataverse so that you can do math with your columns or fields. Something like calculating an estimated commission here of 5% of the estimated revenue. Now I am using Dynamics 365 for this demo just because it's easy. If you don't know anything about Dynamics 365 though, that's totally fine. All of this data sits in Dataverse. So any app that sits on Dataverse, like a model driven power app or a Canvas app, will be able to work with these types of fields. I'm just using Dynamics 365 because the UI is built out and I have a lot of good sample data. But let me show you what I did to create this calculated field here for estimated commission. I'll come back to make.powerapps.com. I do have another video about how to customize using Power Apps and Dataverse. So if this is all new to you, check out that video, but I'll kind of zoom through here. The first thing I'm gonna to need to do is to add an existing table, and that's going to be opportunities. So I'll select this, say next, include all components and add. So opportunities is a table in our database, and this is where we want to add that calculated field for commission. So if I expand tables over here and come into columns or fields, I did obviously add that field already. You saw that it was on the UI. So I added this one here as I was prepping for this demo. There is also an estimated commission base. This is used to do currency conversions, so you can kind of ignore that one. It gets created automatically, but this is the one that I created. I do want to start from scratch though, so I'll create another column or field, and I'll just name it something else so you can see what I did. So add column, and for this one, I'll just add a demo in front of the name. So demo estimated commission, this is going to be a currency, so we're talking dollars here for commission. And then down here, you want to select add calculation, so a calculated field. I do also have a video for roll-up fields, which are similar but different. Check out that video if you're interested. But I will say calculation, and then before you can progress, you need to save the changes to the table. So we'll save. And then after the saving is done, you should get a pop-up window that lets you go in and sort out all the details for your calculated field. If you have a pop-up blocker on, you might not see this. So you wanna make sure that you allow pop-ups from this site just to show you how to get back to this if it was blocked initially. Let me just close out of this. Back here in your list of columns, you'd wanna find that column that you just created. So this was demo estimated commission. I'll just click into that. And then at any time you can open calculation here and get to that pop-up. So if that didn't work the first time, that's how you get back. All right, so let's take a look here. You can optionally add a condition for this field. So maybe you wanna do something like, you only wanna work with commissions that are gonna be paid out this year. So you could say something like, if current entity, the opportunity has an estimated close date that is less than or equal to, say, December 31st of this year, then you would include it. Otherwise, you wouldn't. So something like that. There's all kinds of different conditions you could put in here. I'm just going to X out of this. It is optional. But we definitely need to add an action down here. And this is where you're going to do your math, basically. So the estimated commission is going to be estimated revenue. So you'll need to scroll down to find that estimated revenue here. So this is what it's called in the database versus what you'll see on the UI, estimated revenue versus estimated value. But this is the one that we want, so I'll select that. And then you basically just type in the rest of the math expression, kind of similar to an Excel expression if you've used Microsoft Excel much. So it'll be estimated value, we'll do a space, and then the asterisk, which is for multiplication, and then 0.05 will be 5% or whatever value you want to choose here, and then click the check mark. And that's it. Super simple. We'll save and close and click done. Now, just because you added this to the table doesn't mean anybody can see it yet. So to get it onto the UI, you need to come into forms right here. And I'll open up this opportunity, which is a main type form. This is the one that we saw earlier in the end users UI. Let me zoom in just a little bit here on the bottom. So the one that I created earlier, estimated commission, that's already here. 
we'll want to add the demo estimated commission that we just created. And to add that, you can just come up here to add form field. Look for that column or that field it was this one right here. Demo estimated commission. Make sure you don't grab the one that has base on it. That again is for currency conversions. So this top one here, and then you just drag it over until you see this arrow and line. You can drop it here below. And then to actually push this out to the database so other people can see it, you want to come up to save and then publish. You can just publish though, and that'll do the save. So I'll click on that. And then once that's done, you can come back to the end user UI. So I have this opportunity open from earlier. Let me just refresh this page. And now you'll see here's the field that we just created. So demo estimated commission, that is 5% of the estimated revenue up on the top right, about $93,000. You'll note that these are locked with a little padlock here. I can't come in here and edit these. So the value that's showing here is purely coming from that calculation that we did of estimated revenue times 5%. All right, so that's it. That's how to work with calculated fields in Dataverse and Power Apps or Dynamics 365. If you found this helpful, you might enjoy some of the other videos in my playlist, so check those out. And thanks so much for watching.